Everyone, we're back with Cancel Cancer and some more Team Dragon. A little while ago, I had given you some gameplay. We'll find you a battle. They'll find me a battle. We had given you some gameplay for the artillery crew. Um, gameplay on Proving Grounds, which is basically you versus the AI. For um, the main type of ship of the game, the destroy the dreadnought. Um, if you've ever played things like World of Tanks, this ship would be akin to the heavy tanks. These guys are made to take a pounding and to give a pounding. So we're right around a minute, so my neighbors might be all AI. We'll see. Just wait for it to move up. It looks like we've got at least one actual person here. Attention all ships, eliminate incoming enemy forces. Good to see you here, Black Ops. Just to let you know, I'm streaming, so... Hope we have a good game. I'm carrying some nuclear arsenals. Some vulture missiles and some anti-missile lasers. Hi Captain, engaging. Sister Drain, cycling. Now you're seeing me with the nuke this time, it's got good range, got good explosion. A lot of times I have the plasma broadside so I can teleport up next to them and just take them out with that. I've been trying to play a little bit safer lately though. Mark 
Vulture missiles have a clean shot. Send the Vultures. Sometimes it pays to jump straight into battle. Enemy warheads locked on our position. Thank you. Match our heading. When they give you good openings like this, it's hard not to take it. Okay, that time it didn't work very well. You've got some good shooting going. Good job. Thank you. 
than the Anu. Exactly why I hate healer ships. Launch all vultures. We have to take those med chips out first. Good shot. Okay, healer's down. Activating primary weapons, Captain. Thanks for the assist. This battle is ours. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I've got an artillery you think he can take me down on his own. seen someone just dive straight down to try to get rid of a missile lock. Can't 
Good job, Black. Twenty one kills. Great job, Black. Anyway, now that we're not in channel anymore, that's just a little tip on how you play the Dreadnought class of ships. Um, the Dreadnoughts have some major firepower in the nukes, so they don't always work. The nukes are a lot like the bomb launcher in the artillery, as in once you launch it, it does not track so if your target is not moving you're golden if it is moving it's very possible they'll get out of the way before your nuke hits now if you happen to have a lot of them in the same place when you launch you can explode it early by hitting your square button again in which case um it'll basically just explode the nuke early you're then if it hits the ground sometimes this works sometimes they tell you it's still warming up so it's an iffy thing um that can really do some major damage if you can launch into the middle of a swarm though um, Dreadnoughts, as you saw with that play, they take a lot of beating and keep on ticking, kind of like the Energizer Bunny. Um, they are wonders to play if you don't want to die a lot. Um, you'll only get medium kills most likely because you are slow and ponderous. But that's okay because every kill is what matters and it's better if you don't die. Now, um, I hope you enjoyed watching that game play. Um, a lot of times what I'll do is instead of having the nuke, I will actually use what's called the plasma broadside, as I said in the game. The fun thing to do with that is the broadside needs about 2,000 meters. Your jump can take you 5,000 meters. <sighs> Excuse me. Your jump can take you about 5,000 meters. Your missile your vulture missiles travel about seven so a fun thing is is to get within seven thousand meters fire off your vultures then immediately after you fire off your vultures you hit your warp that'll take you within your two thousand range you come along broadside your enemy at which point your broadside will light up to fire. And you fire your plasma broadside right into their ship at the same time as your missiles are hitting their ship. It's a fun little maneuver. However, it really only works if there's one ship waiting there for you. If they're in a the group, they're going to gang up on you and take you out. 
and unfortunately a lot of the groups do run in packs so it's harder to do that um, that's why I use the missile so much now is because if they run in packs your broadside isn't going to be as good and it just puts you in danger whereas you can fire your nuke from 1,400, sorry, 14,000 meters away and not have a problem. So, that's it for the Dreadnought on Dreadnought. Um, remember, this has been brought to you by Cancel Cancer. You can find us on Facebook, just look for Cancel Cancer. Or look up myself, which is Kevin Coriel, and I'll get you where you need to go for that. Um, if you are a cancer survivor or a cancer warrior who is looking to talk to someone who's been through things with cancer, feel free to drop me a line in email cancer cancer cancel cancer flor fl at gmail.com I will be glad to talk with you about things I'm hoping to start a small online support group with the cancel cancer movement um, if you want if you're an artist we are looking for donations of cancer monsters just contact me I'll get you a Facebook link to our planning group if you're an author who would like to donate a short story to our anthologies to raise money for cancer research and awareness, please also get in contact with me either through email or for Facebook, and um, I'll get you set up with where you need to go. As of right now, we have four different cancers represented online, three of which we have shirts for. The fourth we should have short shirts for before the New Year's. Those four are skin cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, and kidney cancer, which is what I, all of the money we raise from our shirt sales, button sales, anthology sales once we have them, etc. will go to a deserving charity for cancer research. Um, sometimes we'll be sending it to whatever we, if we make a good amount during a certain month, we'll send it to that specific cancer charity, like kidneycancer.org or someone like that. If we don't make a lot of sales in the month, we'll hold it over to go to either the Relay for Life with American Cancer Society or or an actual hospital like Shan's Oncology Unit. Um, I mentioned Shan's. I will be mentioning Shan's a lot because of the fact that they saved me from cancer and they saved my wife and son with childbirth. Um, so they've done a lot for our family. If you want to keep up with our gameplay videos, it will be on the YouTube Draxis Web site just look up Draxis Web on YouTube if you're finding this on YouTube just hit subscribe and whenever we upload new things you'll be notified um, once January comes around we hope to be playing some Monster Hunter for you guys we hope to have some Dissidia coming up We've got Star Wars Battlefront 2, Smite, Star Trek Online. Um, we have Brill Bridge Builder, B Bridge Constructor, something like that. Cute little game about building bridges. Something I picked up for my son, but it's a cute little thing. Um, Orcs Must Die. Unleashed or Unchained. I think it's Unchained. We've got some Overwatch. 
And hopefully we'll pick up some things like Destiny 2 and just a lot of other fun things. We've got some Godzilla that will be coming your way. And for those of you not faint of heart, we might even do some Deadpool, though I'm not sure how that would go with censoring and such. As there is a bunch of foul language in that. I might hold off on that and only play that on Twitch late at night. Because that is very bloody and has a lot of foul language. And I do want to keep a family friendly feed for the most part. By the way, feel free to hit subscribe on Twitch. Feel free to hit subscribe on YouTube. If you know the way to do it, feel free to donate to our cause. All money will go towards helping out cancer victims, cancer warriors, um, in one way or another. Or if you want to help us out by buying a shirt, feel free to stop by. Like I said, we've got those four cancers represented right now. Plus we have a one for just generic all over cancer. We've got ones for survivors. We've got warrior. We have support groups. We've got caregivers. We have ones that say losing is not an option. And we've got stamp out cancer ones that are upcoming. We also have some for brain fog and chemo brain. Fun little things that make it hard to think for those of you who can't remember things thanks to your chemo or your other invisible illness. It's very common. And if you're a spoonie like me, we also have a dead bath battery dead need a nap shirt as well as a running on fumes shirt so we've got a little bit of everything our shirts run anywhere from a youth extra small up to an adult 6x um, most of the sizes will be only $15 with a $5 shipping and handling. And I, I think that's a very good price and you're going to be helping out other people while doing it. And you'll be showing your support. Um, this is a good cause. Too many people die from cancer nowadays. And with all the research we have going into it if we run things together if we work together instead of individualing things out I think we could cancel cancer within the decade but we need your help we need your support Every cent can help change a life, whether it's through the different programs that the American Cancer Society has, or if it's through research that a specific charity does, or whether it's going to a hospital and letting them buy the equipment they need to save a life. In some way, your money will go to a good cause and will in some way impact a life whether it's helping them get to the hospital or giving them free stays at a hope lodge while they're doing their chemo or helping them get their medicines or help get their medicines cheaper there are so many ways that your money can help and so just go ahead and Find us online and see what you can do to help us out. And we'll catch you again later. That's it for tonight, I think. Tomorrow I'll be back with some more Dreadnought and maybe some Battlefront 2. Have a great night.